What's up everybody, Jared here with another con artist of a movie review. Now, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell icon to stay up to date on this channel's newest reviews, reactions, and ridiculousness. So yeah, I was able to catch a movie one night early and it's the new comedy, The Hustle. Two con artists, one low rent and the other high class, team up to take down the men that have wronged them. So is The Hustle one of this year's best comedies? Let's find out. But before I get into my thoughts, let me know what you guys thought of the hustle in the comments down below. Was the chemistry amongst Wilson and Hathaway some of the best you've seen this year? Or was this just a money grab scam? Now let's get into some of the good. Oh, um, I don't, I don't have anything for this section. Can we just go to the bad? I had some sort of hope for The Hustle, you know, this comedy film starring Rebel Wilson and Hathaway. I thought that there'd be something to grasp onto in this movie, but both of their characters, neither, neither of them really turn in that great of a performance. It's very kind of generic paint by numbers. It follows, obviously it's following the same kind of tropes and whatnot from Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, but it's flipping it up, gender switching it up. But their characters, they don't put any sort of personality, anything that's memorable. It's, it's again, just their characters are very bland in this movie. I mean, Hathaway's character is literally using a different accent in pretty much every scene she's in. I don't know if they thought that that was funny. I personally was just like, whatever, I, I, I get it, I guess. And Rebel Wilson is just using this physical humor, physical comedy that she's been kind of used to, you know, very much falling into the same tropes that Melissa McCarthy does, and it's just tiring after a while. And the hustle is supposed to fall into the genre of comedy, and I'm not saying that I know what high comedy is, I'm a great judgment of kind of what's funny and whatnot, but in this movie, you know, it's supposed to be a comedy. And I maybe smirked once or twice, like, the writing is just, it just doesn't play into anything that's really clever, any jokes that really pop, Instead, it very much relies on, again, that physical humor from Wilson's character and a few jokes that are very kind of cheesy or they're very much telegraphed. And kind of focusing on that physical comedy, physical humor of Wilson's character. I mean, it's not just her that's really turning in these physical performances. It's pretty much coming from everyone in the cast, everyone that's in this movie. And like I said, I tweeted out yesterday, I said that this is the closest Hollywood is going to get to a live action Looney Tunes movie. Like some of the skits, some of the gags, some of the things that are set up in this movie that play out is just ridiculous. Like if you were to switch in Bugs Bunny and Elmer Fudd, it would make sense. Like this is a movie about doing a scam and stuff like that, but there's this montage of knife throwing, kind of like etiquette, physical like almost like a rocky training montage. But the thing is none of that plays into any sort of the movie. This movie is about scamming people for the money. Why are they throwing knives? I don't get it. It was redonkulous. And the thing is, it's followed up by like a montage of like a pole dance, something involving a chastity belt, and a rifle shooting a butler. Again, just that situation right there with the rifle and the butler, Bugs Bunny, Elmer Fudd. And the movie in general, when it comes to editing, was a mess, in my opinion. Like, a lot of it just... It didn't flow well, it felt like there was one scene and then it was a hard cut to maybe the next day, the next week, the next month, I don't know. The t passage of time here was very difficult to really judge. For example, there's one scene where Hathaway's character is talking to Wilson's character, says that she's ready, she's ready for this job. Boom! Hard cut. The next scene, Hathaway is engaged to this random dude. What? Did I miss something? Was there a scene missing? Did I did I fall asleep? I need to know. Overall, The Hustle is a ridiculous movie full of shenanigans, but that's not a good thing. It being a straight up Looney Tunes movie with some bland characters that don't stand out, some humor that just does not land, and editing that is a mess. Seriously, do not go see, skip out on The Hustle. Maybe I'm a little heated right now, I'm gonna give it a little bit more time, but right now, The Hustle might be one of the worst movies I've seen this year. In closing, I'm gonna give The Hustle 0.5 out of 5 Looney Tunes characters. So what did you think of The Hustle? I want to know. I seriously want to know in the comments down below. Anyways, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Watch some more videos over there. You know, movie reviews, trailer reactions, fun comedy skits. I just dropped a brand new 
JB sketch for honest match. Go and watch that over there. Follow all of my social media stuff down there. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon to stay up to date on this channel's newest content. Blech. Until next time, I'll see you later.